Welcome to Making Life Easier, Home Care Tips on Home Mechanical Ventilation and Diaphragm Pacing. This DVD from Children's Hospital Los Angeles is packed with useful tips and information, inspirational stories, and even printable lists and forms that you'll find indispensable. You can easily access these documents with a computer. On a PC, you'll need to stop the DVD player and navigate to your computer's start menu, which is usually found on the bottom left of your screen. Locate the My Computer icon, or you may also find the My Computer icon on your desktop. Double click and this window will appear. Locate the DVD icon with your cursor and right click to select the Explore option on the drop down menu. This will bring up a window revealing the contents of this DVD. Choose the Lists and Forms folder, which as you'll see is referenced throughout this video. Take note when you see this icon. Now if you're using a Mac, simply locate the DVD icon on your desktop and double click on it to reveal the Lists and Forms folder. So let's get started. We have a lot of information to pass on, which is not surprising considering that nurse care manager Sheila Kuhn has been working with patient families and gathering these home care recipes for years. It's really out of a sense of gratitude that I come to know this population these children who are on home ventilator. And I want to share what we have learned over these last 30 some odd years. And, and, um, and I see these parents, they're serving their kids with a sense of joy and happiness. And the home care works, so I, I decided that you know, it's time for us to share what we have learned about this population and so that other people will be successful. Sheila started doing tracheostomy care in the 80s and remembers well when she started a trach care support group. 37 people showed up at that first meeting. I learned all my tricks from them. So I, you know, to me, working with, um, with the patients and the families is part of my education. And I, I don't, I, I learn it from textbooks, but a lot of the home care tips and the recipes come from them. And what I like about it is that because you know home care works because uh, it's been used and tested by them. Now on the other hand, I just want to emphasize one thing, and that is you know, like any home care recipes, you know, it may or may not fit you in all situations. It's not meant to be medical advice or a substitute for your child's uh, special need. But I would like to share this home care recipe because I know that it has worked for many many patients. There are three categories of conditions that bring on chronic respiratory failure and the need for ventilator care. Severe lung disease, ventilatory muscle weakness brought on by diseases such as muscular dystrophy or by a spinal cord injury, and central hypoventilation syndromes, when the brain stem doesn't tell the body to breathe or breathe deeply or frequently enough. In none of these cases does the ventilator act as a cure. The ventilator does not alter the basic disease course. Uh, what we're doing with a ventilator is to intervene when a child is not able to breathe on their own. So for example, if they have severe lung disease and their breathing muscles are not adequate to, to perform the work of breathing that's required, then we use the ventilator to perform that work. Similarly, if a child has muscle weakness so that the muscles are not strong enough to breathe, then the ventilator does that work as well. But unfortunately, the ventilator doesn't cure the problem. It's a way to manage the problem. Um, and using, for those children who are relatively stable, we can often get them out of the hospital, even on a ventilator part-time or full-time in the home. So what are the considerations for deciding if a patient can go home on the ventilator? That's the subject of our next chapter on home mechanical ventilation.